Hey friends and welcome back. So we have a new animal coming to our homestead. And in fact, you should see that video before this video comes out because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But I know some of y'all are going to question and want to know how we made our goat house. So I'm going to go ahead and video the process for you so I will have that video ready to go after we release that we got goats. We got Nubian dairy goats. They're only 12 weeks old right now, but they will be the start of our dairy herd in the future. So I'm super excited about that. But when you get a new livestock, you have a lot of needs you have to meet. And one of those is housing. How do you build a goat house on a budget and quickly? Because these goats were a good deal that I just couldn't pass up and I only gave Kenneth a few days notice that I needed a goat house. So, I went to Google and Pinterest and everything else to look for goat housing that you can DIY very quickly. And one thread that I kept coming across was turning these IBC totes into a goat house. It looks super easy. They're not that expensive. We paid $60 for this 325 gallon IBC tote. It needs a big hole cut into it, washed up really good, and then hopefully we will be good to go and we will have a house for our goats so we can bring them home in just a few hours. Ken has got the hard part of cutting it apart and making the hole for the goats cutting through the metal and all that fun stuff. And then I will get in and scrub it really, really well with some Dawn dish soap. This did have a very strong cleaner in it, so it has some hazardous warning labels on it. I do know my chemical names, especially this one, it's sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. And since I am a soap maker, and if you are a soap maker, you know that both of those are different names for lye. Sodium hydroxide is the lye you use when you wanna make solid soap. Potassium hydroxide is the lye you want to use when you make liquid soap. So I know both of those. They are very alkaline. They will burn your skin if they get on it. They are a powerful degreaser, hence they're used in soap. And they're just not some things you want to play with in very strong forms, which is what was in this. Thankfully, lye is easily cleaned away and rendered harmless, so I'm not worried about putting my goats in here as long as it gets a very, very thorough washing, which I will be handling myself so that I know it is done the way I want it done. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth is wearing his gloves for safety purposes since he will be touching this container before it is yeah. cleaned. So Kenneth is using what's called an oscillating saw with a metal blade on it to cut through these metal bars. It worked really good. It got him a nice clean cut and allowed him to get pretty precise with where he wanted it cut. You can pick these up at any home improvement store. I think even Walmart carried them. That's where we got our blades from. How deep do you want this? What do you mean? Uh, I wasn't cutting it right up on them. Do it about an inch up. That way it'll hopefully, or two inches. Just enough to keep their bedding in. I like that straight line you got there. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, if mm -hmm. I get my wife out here cut straight lines. Oh, I don't cut straight lines. You don't draw them and I don't cut them. Well, maybe you will try drawing them. I can't draw them either. Oh, why well, you just screwed them? Yeah, we totally are screwed there. Daddy, open the door. I'm trying to make it at a door. Open the door. Well, he 
Not water, dude. What's that? That's the cleaner. Cleaner. Oh. It's going right here. It's hole here. Mm. It's best hole here. Now we purchased our IBC toes off of Facebook Marketplace. And if you're gonna go that route to get yours, I highly recommend you get one that has a factory label on it that tells you exactly what was in your tote. You don't want a surprise chemical because you don't know how bad that chemical would have, could affect your land when you wash it out or how bad it can burn you if you come in contact with it. So only get one that you know what the chemical is and how to handle it. Kenneth's got it all opened up. It's my job to get it all cleaned out. This is just water. Kenneth bought uh, some kind of chemical sprayer so that we can spray water. We'll make cleaning much, much easier. The good thing about using an IBC tote is that it has a drain in the back so I can tilt it up and clean it out and let everything drain out. This is our goat feeder. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what, baby? Yeah. I see. What the handle go? So here is our little goat hotel. We've got the opening right there. Their water's down here. We're going to get a smaller bucket and hang it up for them. They've got a hay bag attached to the side. Attached to the side, we've got this little baking soda tray right here. Their goat loose minerals will go here. The kind that I want, I had a special order and they haven't made it yet, but they will go there as soon as I get here. So that will hold their minerals and baking soda. And if we walk around to the other side, this is their feed trough. We are gonna give them just a little bit of grain every day so that we can kind of make friends with them and get them to like us. Hopefully it works. But there we go. Our little goat hotel. What do y'all think? So ladies, what do you think about your new house that we built y'all? Do you like it? Oh, Dolly just realized she was very close to the fence. Do you like your new house we built? Are you yeah. the fence? It's hot, babe. Don't touch it. Um, I didn't get a double. Ah! Alright friends, well that is our goat hotel that we DIY'd. It is working out pretty good. It's a little heavy to move. It takes both me and Kenneth to move it right now because we don't have anything to pull it with. But in the future, hopefully we'll have something to be able to pull it with. Make it a little easier to move. 
And when we can get a little bit of this brush back here knocked down, we'll have more room to move it around too. But we now have our little brush clears back here and they are getting to work on the job. So we are super excited to have Dolly and Reba as part of our family. If you have not seen the video about where we got our new goats and the day we picked them up, I will leave it linked down below. But I hope y'all have a wonderful day, friends, and we will see y'all next time. Bye, friends. Isn't that